Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Diz Gaia 2! Let's see what we're dealing with here. We got a couple thieves up top here and over there that are going to try and ambush us. Let's see what we got. Okay, weak to ice. That'll be really good because thieves have a lot of speed at this point in the game. And, okay, well, one weak to fire, but most of them should be not too difficult to deal with. So what I want to do here is, if I can... I want to take out the thieves first, so I'm going to have Roslyn attack from down there, and then, can I hit her? Yeah, I think I can hit the thief with my, er, with my archer, or Tiana there, and I think that'll be enough. Hey, hey, alright! So yeah, those two, you definitely want to start working on the thieves here. I would not move forward too far just yet. Because then you got a whole bunch of fighters and thieves ready to ambush you. So let's take out the thieves first. And I want to kind of draw them out. So I'm going to just leave Adele right here. Actually, you know what? Let's defend there. And get a little more work for my healer if I can. Just want to kind of back her off a little bit from the other thieves there. And keep going. So yeah, I'm just going to leave my other fighters in the base, or, well, Krona in the base panel there for now. Wow, I'm surprised you missed. Whoa, careful there. Okay, well, at least we don't need to go up there now, because, let's see, from here to up there, yeah, you need to have like a jump of 18 or 20 to get up there. Whereas with Rosalind, she wouldn't be able to jump all the way up there without a pair of shoes to boost her, uh, what is it? boost her speed or jump stat okay so let's go take out that one I'm probably not gonna have Roslyn do a whole lot of actual killing in this one. Oh, you're already up there good good okay let's see if I can't get a little work for my other party members hmm I'd like to try and kill that thief so let's try this Adele might be able to kill the thief, though, so... But he could use a little experience, too. Okay, well, there you are. Now, you see how, even though I entered a command in for Kona, and it didn't go through because the guy was dead already, so I can actually cancel that move and try to do something else here. So let's do that. Let's see, can I even get close enough? I'll have to go into the base panel and then move a little farther forward, so that helps us out a little bit. And hopefully, that'll allow Kona to get a little help. Okay, good. Alright! Hey, a level up! Cheer up, Kona! Okay, let's see. Let's heal up there a little bit. How are you doing on experience? Getting there. It's gonna take a little while, though. Okay, so now, let's see. What I want to do is I want to lure those fighters out one at a time so let's see if i can i no i can't okay so i'm gonna have adele do that because he has well i might have Krona do that but he does have quite a bit of hp yeah quite a bit more let's see how's the defense looking okay yeah i'll use Krona because he has the defense okay so let's see okay i don't have the movement range to handle that so let's throw you over there a little bit. Basically, I want to get five tiles away from the fighters here. That'll draw her out and also the thief way behind her, two at a time like that. Not two thieves, but I mean the two characters there. So that way I can pick them off one by one. Inch by inch. Okay, yeah, we don't need to use Tink. Let's get my fighter going and see what we can do here. But yeah, I like using Krona for tanking or whoever my spear user would be because, well, they get quite a bit of defense, especially if they're being attacked by the front. Okay, let's see. Well, hmm, I wonder if Lloyd can... Now, I can't get to the side there unless I threw him, which might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's throw you there. Okay, yeah, I, I think I, I got this. Okay, so hit that. Okay, good. Whew! And now I want you to back off. 
so you don't get hit more. And before I forget, let's see that. And, okay, now the thief. Hmm, I could also have Lloyd do that, but that might be a little hard to finish off. Hmm. Well, how about we do it this way? We'll soften you up a little bit right there. Good. And why don't you keep defending before moving on to the next group of them? Just kind of get in the middle there. Oh. oh, for a moment I thought she was going to attack uh, Lloyd there. Ah, oh. yeah, I'm not going to... Or what is it? Well, whatever. I was going to say, I, I might not be able to get up to 99% hit because I didn't attack immediately after Roslyn softening the guy up, but that's okay. Okay, so you're doing good there. Forgive me. And, okay, let's leave it at that. I should check Lloyd's level. He's probably getting pretty far ahead. Okay, easy enough. Okay, yeah, you are way ahead, actually. So, well, maybe not way ahead, but getting there. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, we're already in position for this one. That's easy enough. Okay, and what's the other one week to? Oh, more ice. Okay. I could probably deal with that a little later. But anyway, okay, so let's see. Let's heal up a little bit there. And, yeah, I think it's safe now to uh, just go after the next group there. One thing you also want to keep in mind is that thieves have some pretty nasty debuffs to deal with sometimes. Like, let's see, where is it? Yeah, or, oh, yeah, yeah, this one. That They could poison you with that. Later on, they also get an ability that can put you to sleep as well. And they're pretty accurate, but they're only usable on one character at a time. So it's not something that's extraordinary, extraordinarily difficult to deal with, but something you want to keep in mind. Oh, we got Tiger Charge. What's my accuracy with that? Good enough. I'm surprised I can hit these guys so accurately. Usually I have a hard time hitting thieves. But yeah, that kind of gives you a ranged ability with the attacking or with fists, that is. And we got up to level 5 to learn Espoir. It's basically like Asuna in the Final Fantasy games. Cures any status ailment, and I'll be teaching that to Lloyd after this battle. I'll do that off screen, though. You just do it the same way that you taught the heal spell to him. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to create a healer instead of... What was the other one? Oh, uh, a Geomancer, I could. Because Geomancer does learn heal and star magic, but there's some spells from the healer that are unique that I would want to get on my own. Or with the healer, that is. Okay, so let's see. Ice. Yeah, you could use a little more experience. Why not? Wow, a lot of these guys went to ice. Good enough. Let's see. Yeah, let's get a little more work for Chrono there. So, okay, just... Use a Feather Touch there, and get an Impaler gun. I'm surprised Roslyn can't hit them for more damage if they're physical. But it gets the job done, at least. I guess she used up all of her crits in the last episode. Uh, no, no, let's keep on going and see what's happening. Where is this, anyway? Overlord Xenon. Your orders have been carried out. Hmm. Did you discover the whereabouts of the princess? No. She is still nowhere to be found. I would think people would know. If anything should happen to her, even a little scratch, the two of you will suffer tenfold. Yes, Master. We are well aware. I don't care how you do it. Find the princess and isolate her from the outside world immediately! I wonder why he cares so much about that. As you wish, my master. Eh, it's probably not important. 
Maybe he's just overly protective of her. But anyway, okay, we're done there. And I would also like to buy some new slippers. And let's see. Well, now that we got Jiruru up to level 5, I don't need to bring her out to cast heal periodically to level up. But I still want to hold on to her because eventually, way later in the game, probably post-game even, I'll want her to level up to learn Omega Heal. And that'll be pretty useful for us. But for right now, we'll just leave her as a bench warmer there. And I also want to buy some new shoes. Or at least you know, one pair of shoes. Oh, hey. Hmm. Nah, I don't need it. We'll be fine. Okay, let's see. What do we got available here? Hmm, we got some marksmen. That could be useful for some of us. Hmm, I probably want to get another pair of shoes for Adele there. So, yeah, let's go with that. I don't have a whole lot of money, but we'll get there. But yeah, having... The reason why I like giving these to Adele is because they primarily boost your speed and, well, that thus boosts his damage with his fist abilities. It doesn't do that for his character abilities, though, like the Crimson Fire or whatever that thing was that I learned for him earlier. Oh, I already uh, healed up. Okay, we're good. And by the way, another thing you could do with shoes if you really want to equip other accessories you could go into a battle there and you could move and then once you're next to the enemy equip like belts or whatever to boost your damage and then attack and then go back and forth like that so you can get the benefit from both but i don't like doing that because it takes a while to do that and you really don't need the accessories to boost your damage Damage is pretty good with weapons by themselves from their stats. Ah, it's the wild tribesman from yesterday. Why do you call me a tribesman? What the hell makes you think I'm a tribesman? <laughs> don't, don't, don't come any closer. Don't invade my personal space. Okay, how about if I shoot you from over here? What are you waiting for, Axel? Aren't you the dark hero? What hero? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm the dark hero. Feared by men, loved by women, but I always use a stunt double. That doesn't sound very heroic. Oh, I get it. You're just a stupid celebrity. Aren't they all? I'm not just a celebrity. I'm the dark hero. The amazingly talented dark hero. Then why have we never heard of you before? If you want to throw down with me, prepare for the consequences. You'll have screaming teenage girls calling you all day long. Uh, yeah, I'd rather avoid that. Oh, hell no! Hell no! <laughs> you stupid B-movie celebrity. You desecrate my father's palace with your insolent behavior. I will not forgive you. You insolent fool! That's an insult to B-movie celebrities. Your father's palace? What are you talking about, lady? Well, someone destroyed this whole place. Do not feign ignorance. My name is Rosalyn. I am Overlord Zenon's only daughter. Yeah, he kind of rules the whole world here. Or netherworld. Oh, what was that? see this emblem of the four-leaf clover? Ah. Oh, 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 Overlord Zenon's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Not so exuberant anymore? If you wish to beg for mercy, now would be a good time. Before or after you shoot him? <laughs> yes! This! This! This is it, Director! What, what just happened? What do you mean, Axel, darling? Picture this. A beautiful demon, none other than Overlord Zenon's only daughter, Rosalind, imprisoned in a deserted palace. What prison? And the only man who can rescue her from the villains and pester Zenon for a hefty reward is the dark hero, Axel. Well, maybe we could just go with you and you could get the reward and we can kill Zenon after that. Isn't that a great setup? It's perfect for launching my comeback. This kind of story has to make the universal news, and then everyone will know that I'm still alive. 
doesn't the comeback imply that you actually were a celebrity to begin with and well known? But by the actual darling, <laughs> didn't you say you needed a stunt double? Moron, I'm the dark hero. Now shut up and get ready to see the greatest action scene ever. But this is a turn-based RPG. Hi, Axel, darling. Mm, you're so... Oh, this is too bad. Demon buffoons like him will give us all a bad name. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Sometimes I wish that your other personality could hear you speak. <laughs> Damn, while we're wasting time like this, Xenon's curse could be getting stronger. I just hope my family doesn't turn into real monsters while I'm stuck fighting jerk towns like this guy. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Whoa, holy crap, we got a lot more. Well, maybe not a lot more enemies to deal with, but a lot more to deal with at once. Because once you start moving out, yeah, we got mages and all these fighters that are going to be homing in on us all at once. Can we defeat them all? Find out next time on Let's Play This Guy 2. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.